So if you're curious about what's happening in the Stockton housing market update, and if you're gonna make a move in the near future, uh, we got you covered. We're gonna be covering all of the latest trends here in Stockton. All right, we are looking at the most recent trends in the city of Stockton. So looking at the number of homes for sale, we had 319 homes come up for sale last month, and that was an increase from the prior month, which was at 290. Now, in terms of homes that went pending, we had a little bit of a dip at 150 homes, and homes that closed escrow and sold was 164, which was a little bit of a decrease from the prior month as well, where 179 homes sold. Yeah. Yeah, one thing that jumps out at me on this uh, chart this month is the pendings, and that is the red line that's going across the screen there. It's dropped in the last few months, really down to a new low level of just 150 pending sold homes. The last time we saw a number of that low was last December of 2022. And that was at 126. So the pending sales are declining uh, as that reflects into the actual sold homes. Uh, one good news for here on the chart is for buyers. It did increase to 319 homes listed, but we're still far off from where we were a year ago. One year ago, last October, we had 516 homes on the market. So still, Julie, it's still much lower than it should be. We still need more homes on the market, uh, but let's see how all of this has affected home prices. All right, here we have on this chart, it's all about pricing and the top green line across the top is the average for sale price or the asking price. And the bottom red line is the average sold price here in Stockton. So let's talk about the, the green line up top the average list price is relatively flat the last three months from 564, 564, and last month, 565. So that seems to be stabilizing and relatively flat. On the average sold price now, that's declined in the last few months. In October, it fell to 452,000 from the prior month of 478,000. And before that, we hit a peak at 490,000. Uh, but one thing to consider, I think, Julie, is the what's happened in rates in the last uh, two months or so. You know, they've gone from seven up to eight percent, and that really has deterred a lot of buyers with affordability and whatnot. So I think it's, I don't know, it could it be um, putting some pressure on pricing here in Stockton or? Perhaps there's just not enough homes for uh, prices to adjust and there's just not a lot of data to reflect uh, what's truly happening in prices. So uh, we're going to get into days on market next. We'll have Julie cover that. All right, so the average number of days on market for homes for sale in Stockton last month was 23 days. Um, again, just like the last statistics we looked over, it stayed about the same for the last few months. The two prior months were 24 and 24, so we're at 23. Now, keep in mind an upward trend in days on market trends indicates a move towards more of a buyer's market, and a downward trend indicates a move more towards a seller's market. So. Here, you know, it's low. If we look at the whole chart, the whole blue chart here, you can see where we started the year and then it kind of rose. And then now we're coming back down again. We all know that inventory is very low. There's not a lot of houses for sale. So when they do go for sale, they tend to not stay on the market very long um, as reflected in the days on market number for last month. Yeah, this, uh, this is a true indication of like, this is one of those stats that we watch uh, quite often on a monthly basis to kind of give us the heat of the market. Uh, if you look back to last October, it was 42 days. And this month, this year, uh, 23 days. So a significant decline in the days on market. There's still people out there looking at homes. There's still people looking to sell homes. There's still a lot of activity happening. And that's reflected of the list to sales price ratio, which is the red line across the top. And last month was 101%. So on average, uh, homes received or sold for more than their asking price. So that's another good indicator that we, another good stat that we like to follow to kind of give us a gauge on where the market is going. So homes are selling still fast. They're still selling for more than the list price. It's, that leads us to believe that uh, we're still in, based on the data, we're still in a seller's uh, favored market. 
All right, our last chart, last piece of data for you guys today is the months of inventory chart. It tells us how quick all the homes would sell if another home was not placed on the market, meaning the current inventory. And last month in October, was it climbed up to 2.1 months from 1.7 the month prior. It's still showing us to be a seller's favorite market. Anything really below three is a seller's favorite market. The reason why it's climbed is because we saw that pending number drop significantly. So uh, this is starting to climb a little bit more as the pendings drop and the inventory rises, our months of inventory will, will slowly increase. So again, we welcome additional inventory. We still need much, much more. When you look at the entire year of 2023, it's hard to believe that we're at the end of the year, but inventory has been low all year long. Really, I mean, if you look at the months of April and May, it was 0.9. So yeah. it's been low all year. We're happy to see a little bit of an uptick. We would love to see more, but we will share with you what transpires this month when we see you again next month. So thanks for tuning in. If you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And we will see you soon.